Cristiano Ronaldo blocked Man United from hiring Antonio Conte before Eric Ten Hag. Cristiano Ronaldo blocked the appointment of Antonio Conte at Manchester United, according to reports. The Italian was linked with the old Trafford job earlier in the season, before he joined Tottenham. And Eric Ten Hag will now be the one charged with the task of bringing the glory days back to the fallen Premier League giants. Manchester United decided to sack Ole Gunnar Solskjaer back in November, with a heavy 4-1 defeat to Watford proving to be the final nail in his coffin. And the club were then linked with a variety of different managers. Ten Hag was among them, with the Dutchman, doing well with Ajax at the time. Mauricio Pochettino was initially the frontrunner for the post, with Paris Saint-Germain then making it abundantly clear the Argentine wouldn't be allowed to leave the Parc des Princes. And United were also tipped to pursue Conte, who was on the market following his decision to quit Inter Milan last summer. Eric Ten Hag, Man United's 25-man squad for next season with six signings now, however, the Manchester Evening News say United opted against hiring the Italian due to Ronaldo. The hierarchy consulted the big players at Old Trafford when it came to their new boss, with Ronaldo then blocking Conte. That then paved the way for Tottenham to hire the 52-year-old instead, with Conte steering them into the top four. United will now be hopeful that Ten Hag can turn their current situation around, with the mood at Carrington the lowest it's ever been. Yet given their struggles this season, that certainly won't be an easy task. Don't miss Ten Hag's 10 transfer targets at Man United explained Anthony comments suggest Ten Hag reunion at Man United is possible Man United have five players who can be amazing under Ten Hag Ronaldo is likely to still be at United next term, with the Portugal international reluctant to give up on his second spell at Old Trafford. Yet while that's the case, Ten Hag does plan on signing a new forward to ease the goalscoring burden on the veteran. Darwin Nunez is one player in the Dutchman's sights, having been in outstanding form for Benfica this term. Antony is another star being linked, with the Brazil international developing well under Ten Hag at Ajax. And United have also been mentioned as potential suitors for Lautaro Martinez and Tammy Abraham, who have excelled at Inter Milan and Roma respectively. Think you know sport? Test your sporting knowledge with our tricky quiz meanwhile, regarding Conte, the Spurs boss has refused to commit his long-term future to Tottenham despite guiding them into the top four. I am under contract until next summer you know very well I signed for one year and seven months, he said. I enjoyed a lot, my time in Tottenham, because for me, it was a big challenge to come in during the season. For a coach like me, it is not simple. It is a big challenge in a club with a fantastic stadium and a training ground, and I knew the situation I could find to give me the opportunity to work in the way I want. On the other hand, you know very well that I am a person who has ambition. Want the latest football news? Join our brand new Facebook group by clicking here I like to fight for something important, I like to fight to lift a trophy. For me, this is a trophy, and I am very happy. And then we will see. I always said to you at the end of the season, we speak with the club and find the best solution for me and for the club. Now I think for me, the club, the players it is good to have three, four, five days rest and then the mind will be very clear. You can consider the whole season. You have to be very calm before speaking because now there are a lot of emotions in my mind, my heart. For this reason it would be very good to rest and then have a good meeting with the club to find the best possible solution.